Hello and welcome guys. Welcome to Enafa Accounting Education. Our today's topic is accounting and business equation. Uh, first of all, uh, as always, I would like you to subscribe my channel and then press bell icon so that you can receive all my videos. So starting for the accounting and business equation, first of all, let's go through this equation, what this equation is actually is. This equation is actually assets is equal to liabilities plus capital assets is all the things business have we in my previous lecture we in detail we discussed in detail what the assets are what are the liabilities or what is the capital you can go through my video that is debit credit to trial balance and the recording transaction and the introduction to accounting in all three videos i have explained what are the assets and what are the liabilities and what is actually the capital so moving on after every transaction this equation is always true means assets are always equal to liabilities plus capital we will uh, prove this by practicing different transactions we will record the transaction in accounting equation and then we will see uh, how it is equal uh, remember that this this is actually sofp this accounting equation leads the statement of financial position statement of financial position does contain only these three elements assets liabilities and capital so if you understand the concepts of this accounting equation you can easily understand the concepts of statement of financial position and if there is any change in any transaction and you can analyze the impact of that transaction to the statement of financial position so starting from the first transaction uh, for the calculation, we have to record the following transaction in accounting equation. The first transaction being John started business with 500,000 in the bank, 800,000 building and 300,000 machinery. Means Jones has invested 1.6 million in the business in the form of bank, in the form of building and in the form of machinery. And if we consider ourselves as an asset, uh, there have been increase in different assets. Uh, number one is the bank, number two is the building and number three is the machinery as well as there is increase in the capital. So I would record these transactions into my accounting equation. First of all, I will write the name of the assets that is bank and the amount is 500,000. So my bank has been increased by 500,000. My building has been increased in the assets for 800,000 and my machinery has been increased for the amount of $300,000. As well as I have introduced a capital means there is an increase in the capital of 1.6 million that is 1600,000 which is actually the other side of the equation. So after this transaction you can see I have recorded 1.6 million on the asset side and 1.6 million on the liability and capital side. So both the transactions are equal. So moving on to the next transaction. He made purchases for $270,000 from Jay Brown by paying $80,000 through check. John has offered, John has been offered for a discount of 15% if he pays within the specified time. So looking into it, actually the purchase is of $270,000, whereas we have paid only $80,000. So the asset of the bank is reduced by $80,000 and the remaining amount is to be recorded as my liability. So I would record this transaction as well. When I have purchased means I have increased my inventory. I have purchased the goods. So inventory is increased by $270,000. And you can see I have just paid $80,000 from the bank. The remaining amount is to be recorded as liability and the name of the liability is trade payable, which is of $1,90,000. So you can see I have increased my assets by $270,000 and then decreased my asset $80,000. It means I have increased the assets by $1,90,000 as well as I have increased the liability side by $1,90,000 and my, my equation is equal. Guys, let's discuss a bit trade payables. We have different kinds of payables. One are the payables which to, to whom we make trading. The things which we have to sell whenever we purchase that thing on credit from some supplier, that supplier is trade payable. The remaining payables or other payables or with the name of some specific payable, we'll discuss later on that how which type of payables are further. Moving on to next transaction. 
he received utility bill of 5000 so a bill of 5000 has been received means there is an expense as well as there is a liability because we have received a bill a liability has been increased so i would record the liability by the name of bill payable i will not include it in the trade payables because this payable is not my trade payable it's a bill payable so i would record the 5000 amount in the bill payable as well as i would record this amount in the decrease in capital because it is an expense and the resultant aspect of the of any expense is a decrease in capital uh, although it is not a direct entry uh, income and expenses are recorded in the statement of profit and loss and when income exceeds expenses its profit it is added into the capital and whenever expenses increase income it is lost and it is deducted from the capital so moving on to the next transaction the next transaction is he made sales to mr ali for 150 thousand dollar in respect of the goods purchased for 130 thousand dollar and received the whole amount in the bank so it means it's a cash sale the amount of the cash received is $150,000 which will be recorded in the bank whereas the goods which I sold were purchased for $130,000. It means I have made a profit of $20,000. So from my inventory I would decrease $130,000. In my bank I would receive $150,000 and $20,000 profit would be recorded into capital. So you see from I have received $150,000 in the bank my inventory will be reduced by 130000 because uh, the goods which i sold were purchased for 130000 dollars and the 20000 dollar profit is to be included in the capital because this is profit and profit increases our capital moving on to next transaction that is he got 150000 loan from bank it means we have received some amount in our bank account that is 150000 dollars as well as we have created a liability other payables you can see because it's a bank loan you can name it as a bank loan or other payable and it is one lakh fifty thousand so you see we have added one lakh fifty thousand dollar in the asset side and one fifty thousand dollar on the liability side so our equation is equal after this transaction as well so moving to next transaction that is he paid utility bill through check utility bill was five thousand dollar for five thousand dollar we paid it through check it means we will decrease our bank by five thousand dollar as well as we will decrease our liability of the bill payable because this liability has been now paid off moving to the next transaction paid fifty thousand to jay brown in respect of credit purchase we had purchased two lakh seventy thousand dollar from jay brown by paying eighty thousand and we still had to pay one lakh ninety thousand dollar out of which we paid fifty thousand dollar means our liability has been reduced and definitely the bank would have could be reduced as well so fifty thousand dollar from bank is deducted as well as fifty thousand from payable payable is also deducted my liability is reduced moving to the next transaction he made sales to david for one hundred thousand dollar so sale is of one hundred thousand dollar half of which was on cash through bank so i would receive fifty thousand dollar in my bank and fifty thousand dollar as a receivable both are the assets he had purchased these goods for seventy thousand dollar it means my inventory will be reduced by seventy thousand dollar so i sold the goods for one hundred thousand dollar which i purchased for seventy thousand dollar so i made a profit of thirty thousand dollar that would be included in the capital so i will record this transaction you see i have received fifty thousand dollar in the bank i have created a receivable for $50,000 means I have increased my assets for $100,000 and I would decrease my inventory for $70,000 it means I have received I have increased my asset net by $30,000 and it is the profit which I would include in the capital so $30,000 on the capital and liability side and net $30,000 on the asset side my equation is equal Moving to next transaction, he made purchases of $120,000 from Ethan by paying $30,000 through check and promising to pay the remaining amount later. We made purchases from Ethan for some amount. 
one twenty thousand dollar is of purchases, but we just paid thirty thousand dollar. So we will reduce our bank by thirty thousand dollar, and we will definitely increase our inventory by one twenty thousand dollar. And there is a liability of the remaining amount. So you see, we will increase the inventory by one twenty thousand dollar, but our bank will be reduced by thirty thousand only because we have paid thirty thousand. The remaining amount, ninety thousand, is treated as trade payables, and our liability. has been increased the last transaction is he paid 12000 interest on loan to bank so interest on loan is an expense we would reduce our bank by paying $12000 reduction in the asset as well as reduction in capital because expense is capital so these are the transaction i recorded in my assets and liabilities after recording the transaction uh, the examiner may ask you what is the balance of the bank what is the balance on the inventory account what is the balance on the trade payable account so you see we can calculate the balance on each and every account individually so my balance on the bank account is 673000 obviously building is 800000 machinery 300 thousand and the balance on my inventory account is one like 90000 dollar obviously receivable 50000 so these are my total assets definitely i will add these assets this must equal to the total of this liability plus capital side and these are equal you can calculate later on trade payables i are to like 30000 dollar and then bill payable nil because it was a liability of 5000 which i eventually paid off other payables of one like $50,000 and the capital is of 1.633 million $1633,000 is my capital i initially introduced 1600,000 but somehow i made some losses i made some expenses and made some profits so i eventually at the last my closing balance of capital is 1.633 million so this was an accounting equation very simple concept you must know that these equations I always equal equal this equation is always equal assets are always equal to liabilities plus capital and how movements of transactions are carried out in this uh, equation you must understand because uh, whenever you carry on a transaction you must know that what is the impact of this transaction to the uh, statement of financial position so in the last guys please remember to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss to receive any video until then goodbye take care it's a covid situation stay home stay safe